everyone today we are in London to come book shopping I haven't come book shopping in London for ages not really since I did that last video book shopping London so I'm very excited we're going to bookshops that I've never been before that will look really cute and we're gonna buy lots of books so I thought I'd bring you along with me Hello everyone, we're at our first bookshop, which is Lut Jens and Rubenstein. When they created this bookshop, they asked hundreds of people, readers, writers, adults, children, people who work in publishing, if they could see one book in a bookshop. If they wanted to see one book that they loved in a bookshop, what would it be? And then all the books here are curated off of that. So every book that's in here is in here because someone loved it, which is just so exciting to me. So let's go have a look. I love these. I want to get them all. Oh, look how cute that is. They're pretty. That's really pretty. I loved this bookshop so much. It had this great mix of like modern and homely. And when you walked in and saw those books on the ceiling, it really captured that that magic you feel when reading. And I also feel like I had a great mix of books that I'd never heard of and really wanted to read and books that I've been anticipating for a long time. I always like that in bookshops when it has a bit of both and you can find new books and also buy the books that you've been anticipating. So I just had to pick up The It Girl by Ruth Ware. One of my favourite authors, as we all know. I'm really excited to read this one. It's about uh, these girls who are best friends at uni. One of them was murdered. A guy was convicted and I think he dies in prison. And then someone comes to our protagonist saying, I don't think that's actually who killed her. So Ruth Ware, I've given three five stars and one four star to. So one of my favourite authors. It was tricky because there were a few in there that sounded really interesting, like uh, bad gays. There was that like mystery one that sounded interesting, but I decided to get one that you know, I've actually been really highly anticipating and have a really, I know I have a really good chance of loving. On to the next! <laughs> brand new street and brand new me Side by side by friends I need Don't you tell me that you're in town I already know, couple days ago Hey, now that our names are written in stone Let's be honest Sounds like home Still I'm here alone And I'm calling your phone I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could dream about some Next we're here at Word on the Water which is a 1920s barge docked here and it's a bookshop <laughs> I've never seen anything like it and I think it's got a selection of new and used books so let's go have a look <laughs> this bookshop was just such a slice of tranquility away from the craziness of London. Like literally up the road, a five minute walk up the road from this is King's Cross, which if you've been there, you know is crazy. And just stepping onto this boat and 
being in this cozy wooden setting with all these books, it was just like a step away from the craziness and I loved it. And I think they had so many unique editions of books I'd never seen before, like classics, editions of classics I'd never seen before. They had some newer releases. They had books I'd never heard of before. They had a lovely little children's corner. They had beautiful, gorgeous, like Chilton editions of books. I genuinely could have stayed there forever. <laughs> it felt like such a lovely, special place. Um, so yeah, definitely a place to go if you you want a wide array of books, lots of different kinds of books, um, gorgeous editions of books, editions of books that I, I genuinely don't think I could have really bought anywhere else. There, there were editions of classics I'd never seen before. So yeah, this is definitely a very special bookshop. <laughs> I just picked up this copy of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde um, because I've always struggled to find an edition that I liked and I really liked these like cloth editions that they had in there of lots of classics and um, I'm thinking I may read Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for a video that's coming up so I thought it'd be good to get it now um, and yeah I just really liked this edition I love like cloth hard covers like this and I thought it was a pretty unique cover so So next we popped along to Forbidden Planet. I knew I wanted to get a graphic novel whilst I was here in London because I really like going graphic novel shopping in person. Paper Girls is one I've been considering. <laughs> I had quite a good look at it, but I think I need to finish some of the like current uh, graphic novel series I'm reading, particularly Saga, before I pick up another big one. But this place was amazing. It was so Big. We didn't even go look at like the Funko Pop and art section. Uh, the graphic novel section was so big. There were so many books I could have got. Like <laughs> it was really hard to limit it down in here. Um, Laura Olympus is one I'm interested in. Fangs. Like there's so many. But I decided it would be safe to pick up the next volume of Saga that I need to read. I decided that was the responsible thing to do. <laughs> look at this. Oh no, it's not black. I think this looks super cool. It looks like a bit of me. Oh yeah, it's like a murder mystery. Oh yeah, I'll get that. <laughs> And just when I thought I was done, there's me holding up the pics I'm gonna get. We discovered the books section. And I'm gonna be honest, I mean, look at those editions of Dark Shadow Magic. I could be tempted, I could be tempted. But Gallant, I found the special edition of Gallant and I thought, wow, I just have to do it. It's not my fault, guys. It's not my fault, I don't really have a choice. <laughs> so I did break my one book per bookshop rule in there. I got volume two to Saga, because I felt like I should make some progress in this. Because it's like nine volumes to read. So when I saw this, I thought that would be the responsible thing to buy. And that was gonna be all I was gonna buy. <laughs> but then I got this, which is like a murder mystery graphic novel, which I haven't really ever seen before. So I thought I'd get that. And then we went into the book section, <laughs> which we should have just pretended wasn't there. And I got this signed special edition of Gallon by V.E. Schwab, which has been one of the books I've wanted to get most this year in terms of new releases this year. And it's signed and loads of people have told me I'm gonna love this. So I got three books when I should have just got one. <laughs> okay, next we've come to Goldsboro Books, which is famous for first edition, signed edition, special editions of books. There's loads of bookstores up and down this street, but we've decided to come to this one because it's the most well known and I'm hoping there'll be some cool special first editions of books. This was such an interesting bookstore. If you love special editions of books, this is for you. I mean, look at those gold edges. <laughs> there were so many different special editions of books. I'm, look I'm looking at this clip now and I'm seeing other books I could have gotten. I'm like, wow, I didn't see those. <laughs> But um, yeah, I had so much fun exploring this bookshop. They had so many first editions, signed special editions. I mean, look at that. Signed first edition of Gemini, 300 pounds. Oh my God. 
300 pounds first edition of Gemina oh my goodness but um yeah I had so much fun exploring this bookshop seeing the different books they had on offer so if you like special editions of books and signed books I would 100% recommend that you come here I ended up picking up a book I've never heard of before, <laughs> but I think it's a new release that's just come out and it looks really good. It says, three rival actresses team up to solve a murder at the stately home of Lattice Davenport. The author, whose sleuthing creation of the 1930s, Dahlia Lively, has made each of them famous to a new generation. So it just sounds so good. Actresses solving murders. On the front it says, it wouldn't be a country house weekend without a little murder. Janice Hallis loved it. I just think, it's a bit of me. Bit of me, it's a bit of me. <laughs> um, nice transition. <laughs> Again. <laughs> um, we're gonna go to the big Waterstones now. The finale, the massive Waterstones. I'm gonna have to control myself and not spend too much money. But yeah, I'm very excited. It's like the biggest bookshop ever. So I'm excited to go see what I can find. Okay, we've made it to our final bookshop, Waterstones. This is the biggest water zones in the country, the largest bookshop in Europe, and it has over eight miles of bookshelves, over 200,000 titles. So I've got to try and only buy like one or two, which is not going to be easy. <laughs> So I finally got to shop at the Waterstones in Piccadilly. I've never shopped here before. I came here for an event once, but I didn't get to stay and shop and I was so sad. So I was so happy to finally come back here and actually shop. This bookshop is amazing. <laughs> I could easily have blown like hundreds of pounds in here. I really had to restrain myself. Like I, I really could have gone for it, but I tried to be restrained and only buy things that I had really wanted and previously been really hyped for, but it's such a magical place. It has all this kids stuff. It has Charlie's bedroom from Heartstopper. I think this is gone now, but I was so happy to finally catch it. Um, yeah, to see his bedroom, it was so, so cool. Like it's such a little fun thing they had set up, but it really felt lived in they had done a really good job of that so yeah i loved waterstones and piccadilly i'd love to go back here again when maybe i have more money and can buy more money on this place because it was amazing <laughs> Okay, so I'm back home, hello, <laughs> and I thought we could just go through the books that I got and chat about them because it was hard to chat about them in London. So I didn't show you what I got in Waterstones. Firstly, I picked up the Waterstones exclusive edition of Carrie Soto is back! Me and Miss Taylor, Miss Taylor Jenkins Reid, as many of you know, she's one of my favourite authors, and when I saw this, I was like, I have to get it. I double checked with the people at the counter that it was a special edition. It comes with these exclusive end pages, and um, there's also like, ex it's like, they call it exclusive content at the end. It's basically a full page letter from Taylor Jenkins Reid. So like, okay. But yeah, this is one of my most anticipated releases of the latter half of this year. I keep saying books like, this is my most anticipated release of the year. And I'm like, I've been saying that a lot. <laughs> If you watch my TBR Clue Day, you'll know that I'm already gonna be reading this when I go on holiday in a couple weeks. So I am just so excited and I'm expecting five stars, nothing less than five stars. And then that was gonna be all I got because I was trying to contain myself. <laughs> <laughs> and like failing miserably but I picked up Unraveler by Frances Harding if you watch the vlog I read there she is A Skin Full of Shadows earlier this year and it was one of my favorite books this year I had never heard of Frances Harding before that and I have two of her other books to read already <laughs> <laughs> that I haven't read yet. So I wasn't gonna get this. I got this really gorgeous edition. Um, this is signed as well. 
it's got the sprayed edges but I picked it up and I sat down and I read just I think the first page there's a map here and I read this first page and it's told with this kind of like I love books that have a sarcastic narrator tone to them the prologue not the rest of the book but the prologue is like you do this you do that when you arrive here and it's like such it sets the scene so so well so very excited to read this so they're the two that I got from Waterstones and then all the other books you've seen but let's just show them again quickly from Goldsboro Books I picked up three is it dahlias dahlias I'm we know I can't pronounce things okay <laughs> this just sounds so good like a cozy mystery set I think it's very much based off Agatha Christie and we've got these three actresses trying to solve this murder this book has a cast of characters we have a ground floor map a first floor map a second floor map and the grounds map if you know me you know I love a map <laughs> I just think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Also, does anyone know when you get the Goldsboro books and it comes in this like protective film, should I like take that off or are you supposed to keep all this on? What's the done thing? I don't know. Then from Forbidden Planet, I picked up more than I should have done with Saga, this murder mystery one, The House of Lost Horizons and Gallant. I'm very glad I picked up this edition of Gallant actually. This, I didn't realize at the top, it says from the world of Hellboy, which I have no idea. <laughs> I know that's something my dad likes but um I looked it up and I don't think it's like too I don't think you get a lot of the characters from it it's not too deep in that world I'm just excited to find a murder mystery graphic novel because I've never found one before Word on the Water I picked up the special edition of Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde it has other stories in it as well because obviously Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde is kind of like a novella but I'm going to be doing a video later this year which I wasn't originally going to read Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde for I thought about it um and then I decided not to and now I've decided I am going to because it's only short it's literally like 70 pages so yeah I thought I really like this edition I love cloth bound editions like I said and I've never seen this before it's a Wordsworth edition then obviously at the first place Yut Jens and Rubenstein I picked up The It Girl by Ruth Ware another one of my most anticipated releases I'm a bit nervous this is one because it feels quite like thriller like thriller basic th not basic thriller but like you know stereotypical thriller whereas I loved when Ruth Ware got a bit more murder mystery-esque so mm, a bit nervous how this is gonna go but Ruth Ware I've given three five stars and one four star so I almost always rate her high so that is my haul <laughs> from this book shopping video I feel like I was kind of restrained I could have bought more books I'm pretty proud of myself but eight from five bookshops is not that bad and um I'm so excited to read all of these I think these are all great picks let me know out of these books which books you want me to read first which ones you're most excited to see me read just so I know any thoughts you've had on any of these I would love to know but yeah all of these bookshops were amazing I would 100% recommend you go visit them if you live nearby or if you're visiting London I loved them all and I just had such a fun day book shopping so thank you so much for watching this video guys I really hope you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe if you haven't already like the video it helps me out so much and yeah I'll see you very soon in another video bye yeah.